Now remember, don't try any of this at home. We are trained professionals and we have the equipment to make it safe. Okay, make sure it's on low. Hey, I'm still alive. Are you surprised? I'm not. That's because this Tesla coil, even though it produces a lot of voltage, it has very little amperage. It is the amperage or the current of electricity that makes electricity dangerous. There's not enough amps to kill a person here, but it has a lot of fun things we can do. This is the Tesla coil. Let me, do you have your finger on the power button? Can you wait until I count to three? Did I say three? Okay, I get it. If I ask a question, she's gonna answer with a so one zap means yes and zero zaps means no two zaps mean no i don't think tesla intended for his equipment to be used like this now before we play some music on the big tesla coil we're going to show you the small one this one makes ten thousand volts of electricity and it is now on can you see the electricity not yet. We need to give it somewhere to go. Okay, this one time. Hold it horizontal. Good. We'll get this close. And as you can see, the electricity is now flowing through the air, exciting the electrons, creating light energy. Now, uh, we'll put it in here in the middle. She's good. And now, I'm going to grab it. People often ask if this hurts. Does it hurt? Yes. Now the energy's going through me, and now into the light. We call this completing the circuit. Before we play some music on the Tesla coil, let's talk about the science of sound. This note that you hear has both frequency and amplitude. The amplitude tells us how loud the sound is. So if we give the Tesla coil more power, the amplitude goes up and it gets louder. And of course that electrical arc is actually making the sound. It's vibrating at a frequency. So if we change the frequency, we change the pitch. Now let's play some music. Remember, I'm Hagerman the Science Wizard with Extreme Science. Now, let's play some music. <laughs> 